Hey everyone, this is DJ. With so many people working from home this past year due to the pandemic, kids attending classes online from home, and vacation was not an option. For entertainment, we all start streaming movies, TV shows, using streaming apps like Disney+, HBO, Netflix, Prime Video, and other popular streaming services to make the best out of it while we were stuck at home. Now, one thing that a lot of you may have noticed is your data usage went way up, close to the data cap that almost all of us have of one terabyte. And for some, it went past the one terabyte, resulting in extra charges from your internet service provider. Now, obviously, if you work from home or attend online classes, you have no choice of limiting your data usage. But when it comes to streaming though, Amazon has an option in the preference section of the device settings, and it's called data monitoring. That's what I'm going to be talking about today, right after this. The data monitoring option, which was added to the preference menu back in 2017, is for you to track how much data your Fire TV or Fire TV stick is consuming so you do not go over your internet data cap. While a lot of people online posted videos for Fire TV Stick tips about protecting your privacy to stop Amazon from spying on you, and they mentioned that you should keep the data monitor option disabled on your Fire TV or Fire TV Stick. That's just nonsense and a complete misunderstanding of what the setting actually does. The main reason that most people misinterpret what the data monitor option is and does is the name. Calling it data monitoring sounds like it has something to do with Amazon tracking what you do while you're using your device. Now, if most of those people just took the time to enable that setting and see what it actually does, they will quickly realize it's not what they thought it was. It is strictly for your own knowledge. Enabling it or disabling it does not change what information Amazon can track. If you're concerned about what information Amazon can track or collect about your device, then you need to go to privacy settings and disable device usage data and collect app usage data. All right, let's go down to data monitoring. When you enable data monitoring, you will see three options are there. First option is to set the video quality. Second option is to set the data alert. And the third option is to view your monthly top data usage. First, you wanna set the data alert option. When you select data alert, you need to enter the number of gigabytes you want for the data limit alert to notify you when reached. For example, I have 100 in here. You can add more, you can add less. That is up to you to figure out how much you want to put for a limit. And then once you enter that number, just press next. In here, you will be asked about the start day of your billing cycle from your internet provider. So that way, it will track how much data it uses from the start to the end of your billing cycle. Once you enter the number, press next again, and then just confirm. All right, now as you can see on the right side, it says I've used 2.9 out of the 100 limit that I added. And my billing cycle starts on the 24th of every month. Now on the day of the month that you entered for the start of your billing cycle, it will automatically reset the data tracking to zero and start again from zero for the next month. The way data monitoring works is when the device consumes 90% of the data amount you've set as a limit, you will get a notification of the notifications area on the device's settings. When you reach 100% of the data limit, a message will pop up on your screen telling you so. That does not mean though that the Fire TV or Fire TV stick will stop working or change the way it functions once you reach your data limit that you set. It's basically a notification only. It's up to you to decide if you want to keep using additional data or stop. Now, if you're going to monthly top data usage, you will get a list of all the apps installed on your device and how much each one is consuming so far, starting from the highest to the lowest. Even if you do not have a data cap from your internet provider, Enabling data monitoring can be used for keeping track of which apps get used the most and which ones are used the least. For example, if you subscribe to Netflix, Disney Plus, and Peacock TV, and plus all the other free streaming apps like Pluto, Crackle, and so on, 
by using data monitoring, you can get a good idea of how much data each app consumes the most. And also, if it's a paid streaming service and it's always low on the list, is it worth keeping? Are you getting enough out of it for what you're paying for? Maybe it's time to reconsider which apps you keep or pay for and which ones you should cancel. If it's a paid service and you're not using it, might as well cancel and save some money. And if it's a free app, you might as well uninstall it and free up some space. All right. And I think that should cover everything about data monitoring. I personally find this option very useful, but what do you guys think? Will you consider using it? Are you using it? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I would love to know what you guys think of this option. All right, that should do it for today. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below, and I will answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It does let YouTube know that you like what I do here, and it does help my channel grow. Also, click on subscribe and the little bell icon to get notified of any new videos that I upload. Thank you for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.